Welcome back to Switched to Linux. This is the brief overview of the LXDE desktop environment. So this environment was designed to be extremely lightweight and will allow you to actually install this on a computer with as little as 500 megabytes of memory or even less, depending on what applications you're using. Now to use something like, uh, like Google Plus or YouTube or a lot of these big modern uh, websites, you need at least a gigabyte of RAM to, to run those decently. So uh, you know, just keep that in mind. But if uh, you're looking for a computer system to, to give to a person who you know just starting out or you found an old computer in your closet and you like to do something with it and you just do light internet stuff, maybe some light document writing, you know, th this particular desktop environment is definitely the way to go. Extremely lightweight. Uh, I use this one, actually my banking software is done with this very um, distro. So the distro here is, is L Ubuntu. So that is uh, an extremely lightweight uh, distro based on the, the LD um, uh, desktop here, uh, LXDE desktop. And it allows us to revitalize the old computer. I use it for my banking just because I want it as, as minimum resources running in the background as conceivably possible, which is why I've used this one. Although there's other ones you could run as well for, for other fun purposes. But as far as this one is concerned, um, we have a, a very simple platform. It looks a lot like your Windows XP type genre. If you uh, just look at your start menu there, we have a, a run dialog box here. You can run a program. You can see this is not flashy at all. It's not you know beautiful and modern UI, but that's quite okay. That's not what the purpose of this distro is or, or this desktop environment. So looking at some of the features, uh, I'm gonna start at the, at the right side. We have a little power button down here and our power button will pull up our logout sections. So uh, we can either shut down, reboot, suspend, hibernate, switch user, lock the screen, log out, or cancel. Each one of the individual icons here behave independently of each other. So we have the battery, the, uh, the volume, the network, the clock items. So you can uh, see what that looks like. We also have a built-in desktop switcher which you can actually toggle with your um, scroll, scroll wheel, which is a little unusual, but that's quite okay. As far as on the desktop background itself, if you right click, you can create a new folder or you can create an empty file. You can select everything, invert, sort, or your desktop preferences. So your preferences, you can set your desktop icon so you can show and hide your documents folder there. Uh, we can show, uh, you know, show the menus provided. So um, lots of different, well, not lots, a couple little different items in there. And then here we can select the wallpapers, background colors, and the, the text format. So this desktop environment uh, does not have, at least I can't find, one unified system, uh, system app. But if you go under system tools, you can see all the different things that you might be looking at. Um, so you can look at, uh, actually it's under preferences, I'm sorry. So if you want to look at additional drivers, uh, Bluetooth manager, disks. So all these are types of things that you might find under the, uh, under the settings uh, tab, like one unified settings folder. So this is where you can go for those. Over here we have the El Ubuntu Software Center, which is a, a lighter weight version of the basic software center. You can see here that it's not loading up, you know, the, the nice huge colorful pictures from the internet. It's using just some basic icons. And it does this just to, you know, minimize the system resources, which is the purpose of the distro. So as far as staying faithful to what the purpose of the distro is, it's it's a, a very good distro. So we have a lot of different accessories, uh, just a couple light programs in here. We have Firefox, instant messaging, transmission is for torrent downloads. Under Office, we just have some, some basic Office programs. You can install something like LibreOffice on here. I know that's what I did on my install of this. 
and then there's um, you know there's some other programs in here to use. So it pretty much has out of the box just some of the basic system tool items that that you have. So the file manager, uh, the file manager here is, is nothing super exciting. Um, it does give us uh, kind of an, an older Windows type feel to it. We have our basic minimize, maximize buttons. We can create new tabs for the windows here, so I can create each of these guys in a in a different tab here. Let me go into the desktop in one. You can see in the non-desktop there. Uh, you can map a uh, you can map an FTP folder if you know where to go. And again, I'm not going to actually log in, but you can see it does ask me for the the login details. So if you, uh, if you do need to access an actual web server with basic files, you can do that and drag files in and out of there. Uh, you can also, uh, let's see, over here is where you can go. You can go up and you can go down. You can go back to your main home folder here with the, with the home key. And let's see, where was the, uh, let's see. Okay, here right clicking on the folder, we can show and hide the hidden. We can set the the order there and let's see. I'm trying to remember now. Oh, it was up in the menus up here. To adjust like the size of the icons. I'm not sure if you can adjust the size of the icons, but what you can do is under view here. Okay, there we go. You can zoom in, zoom out. So your control plus, control minus. Let's see what that does. Okay, yep. So there's your control plus makes your icons larger, control minus makes them smaller. So it looks like you can actually go. This is the smallest. It looks like you can go. And this is the largest you can go. Just holding the control uh, plus control minus. So we'll keep them right there. Uh, you can also, uh, you can sort the files here in the menus. Over here we can do the compact view. Um, you can do the thumbnail view. So there's uh, a lot of different options for, for your viewing mode which are controllable here and it looks like if uh, if you can uh, you can use the the control on the numbers to toggle between those different views there so actually for a, a very lightweight uh, a very lightweight system it actually looks like there are a lot of features you can do okay so here's your side panel so F9 toggles your side panel there and then I'm guessing there will be the other option for the side panel to say what you actually want that side panel to look like. So places or the directory tree. So overall the, um, the uh, LXDE desktop is, is a very faithful, very lightweight platform. Uh, we have a software manager. We have you know the, the basic uh, file structures we have. Very simple system though, it's, it's not overly complex, quite intentionally so. This is not the distro that you're going to want to use you know, for your latest and greatest computer, but uh, you know, as the, the, I've identified again, the, you know, number one, revitalizing an old computer is ultimately what this was made for. And I used this, I installed this on a 16 gigabyte flash drive just to be used as my banking software. So it uh, it's, uh, actually responds very nicely when it's encrypted, so you can encrypt that. So if you wanna put passwords on there, budgets, banking information, banking passwords, you know, you should use a, a different operating system for doing all that online financial stuff for uh, extra security. And uh, running, uh, running uh, El Ubuntu on an external flash drive is a great way to accomplish that task. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.